David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. 
I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Ugh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Why does that so not sound fun? This guy has serious cojones. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. If the poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. Thank you, redneck poet. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. 
But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday, smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So... Now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young... The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Latest app. Bacon at 12 o'clock. Nerd hour. graffiti. Well, I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> the lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going. Then from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire, smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. 
Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pocket. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. This is... Okay, Max. I'm... A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you? Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! 
He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops! Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument.
Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. This is the scariest thing here. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Look what we have here, a cute little bottle for the taking. <sighs> Stupid bottle. Boom, 
Only three bottles left. Those shells look fresh. The Bigfoots were here. heavier than I thought. Ugh. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more. That kind of hurts. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Ouch. One more bottle to go. I want to die. <sighs> Jeez, who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. 
I need to see you shoot first. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool! Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Well, Max? How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I... Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? 
Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from- I don't want to go that way. 